I love our home in Brookings, but when anyone asks me where I'm from, instead of saying my home of 37 years, I almost always answer that I grew up in the sweet town of DeSmet, where I attended 12 years of school. Emotional and physical health starts in the community in which we were raised. Many people have a lot of pride being from that little town, and much of that is from its history. Back then, within the library and the local Masonic Lodge, there were several original oil paintings by Harvey Dunn, the famous painter and illustrator. It's neat that D. Smith has a connection to such a famous artist. However, its most significant notoriety comes from the Laura Ingalls Wilder books, because D. Smith is the little town on the prairie. Laura's tales of growing up in the late 1800s in a pioneer town are famous throughout the world. Her clearly written words tell how those of European ancestry first moved and homesteaded onto American Indian land of the Minnesota and Dakota Prairie. In particular, her book, The Long Winter, illustrates how challenging the conditions could be on the winter prairie and how settlers and Indians had to be tough as nails to survive and thrive. History is important, but the continued thriving character of present-day D. Smith happens because of the myriad of activities occurring in the community. For example, Old Settlers Day is D. Smith's summer festival, usually on June 10th, when parades, tractor pulling, and a carnival would come to town. I remember as an eight-year-old, thinking that June 10th was almost better than Christmas. It was a surprise and disappointment when I found out one day that June 10th wasn't celebrated everywhere. I was not quite correct, however. South Dakota is abundant with similar community summer planting and harvesting festivals. Of course, most important are the lifetime friendships that develop in these communities. I remember joining with other families during holiday meals, celebrations, and funerals, and even sitting around family campfires. There was sledding, camping, and canoeing with the Boy Scouts, hay rides, roller skating, dances, and rock and roll music, football and basketball games, track meets, talent contests, and a myriad of band and choir performances. And there was church. How lucky and healthy can a guy be growing up in a little town on the prairie?